So wapenzi wa tazamaji karibuni tena kwa 254 Digital News kama kawaida tumeweza kupokea taarifa za kusikitisha kwamba e, babake Jampi ambaye ameweza kuzikwa hivi leo huko Langata pia ameweza kuaga dunia baada tu ya kutoka kwenye mazishi ya mwanawe pale Kenyatta hapo e, pale Langata funeral ameweza pia kuaga dunia na bado tunafuatilia nini aswa imeweza ku, ku happen mpaka akaweza kuaga dunia so guys keep tuning kwa 254 digital news kizidi kuwaletea taarifa kamili tujue haswa ni nini iliweza kuhusika kwa kifo pia ya babake e, Jampi Koikai kule e, baada tu ya kutoka mazishi ya mwanawe so guys keep tuning kama kawaida nitakuwa na update ni nini haswa inazidi kuendelea huko kwenye e, boma ya babake ama mwenda zake babake e, Jampi Koikai Dear Jambi, my, my daughter. The time has come for me to atone for my acts of omission or commission on your final journey from this world. It, it has been one of the most difficult episodes in my life. And especially for your close family, your mom, sisters, aunts, uncles, colleagues in the media, and friends in and out of the country. The large following you are able to marshal on social media was a testament to your abilities as an influential personality. Your, your, your sudden and unexpected death cut short your very bright and promising career at the time you had already entered the political arena. Uh, having vied to be a member of parliament for the Goretti South in the 2022 elections, where you came an impressive fourth. My tribute to you will be on my contribution in your life, confession of my acts of omission or commission, and uh, forgiveness. Uh, Stella Wamboy Kanogo, your mom and I were living in Ruta Satellite when we started our friendship and you were conceived in 1985. She gave birth to you on January 24, 1986. At, at the time I was working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs having been employed in late October 1983 she visited me at the office to inform me of the pregnancy and later after she gave birth to you she came back to see me at that time you were about four months old and that was my first encounter with you as a child Our encounter was uh, short-lived and we never saw each other after that as I was posted out of the country. All the time I was away, your mom and family took care of you and it is only when you got to Form 1 and I was back in the country that were able to meet when you came to the office to look for me. take this opportunity to thank her family for being there for her when I myself was absent. You, you were then at Gara Girls and came in school uniform. When I saw you, I saw myself and we spoke at length about your education, 
you later changed schools and went to Aria Girls, then McKinney School, where you did your O levels. Thereafter, you joined St. Christopher's for A levels, and then you agreed to join Desta University for your undergraduate degree where you graduated with a degree in mass communications. We took a very beautiful photo on your graduation day, which I shall always treasure. And there, and thereafter, got your job at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. From the time I accepted you as my daughter, I never stopped paying for your education and supporting you in other ways. And I remember after the graduation ceremony which I attended in 2008, you told me that you are very grateful that I've been by your side in your educational journey. I would also support you from different parts of the world in many ways especially when I was in London and Nigeria. You later told me you wanted to do postgraduate studies in international relations at the United States International University. And I did not hesitate to pay for your studies. Later you joined Alliance Francaise to study French and I remember on one occasion you told me there was a trip to France and I paid for you. The following year you went again to France as you told me you loved the country very much. My only fear was that this would be an annual event and I would have to be funding the journey and you told me don't worry if it's too much for you I'll become a French citizen you told me from your visits you had bought lots of presents for your family and friends to appreciate them always being there for you you. I'll remember you. In many ways. And I ask here in public where I may have not fulfilled my duties as your dad. Please forgive me. Forgive me. 